sitting here with Living Color. Put your hands together for him. Living Color, give it up. I want more applause right here for Living Color. There he is. Give it up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, start down at the end and introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Vernon Reed. Play the guitar. Hi, I'm Mud Skillings. Hi, I'm Corey Glover. Hi, I'm William Calhoun. Yeah, you know what? During that, that breakdown in the song, man, y'all kicked some ass and took a whole lot of names. <laughs> I mean, y'all was working. Where, how long have you all been working together? A little over three years now. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, and you know what amazes me about you? I had seen you around town at auditions before this whole living color thing happened. And you were an actor. As a matter of fact, uh, you, you, I remember a movie that you eventually got. Yeah, I was in Platoon. Yeah, now, if I could sing like that, I wouldn't go to nobody's parquet <laughs> butter commercial audition. You know, I would be up here doing this. Why were you doing that? I wanted the money. I wasn't making any money doing this. Um, and I really didn't find, I didn't meet these guys until like a year, like six months before I got Platoon. Mm -hmm. So I was working on Platoon, I was working with the band, and we're still trying to, st struggling, trying to get a name for ourselves. And then I got Platoon and I had to leave for three months. So I came to Vernon's house and said, I got some good news, I got some bad news. I got some work. <laughs> but I'm going to the Philippines for three months. So um, it was, they had, there was a re, it was like we had to reconstruct and when I came back and do it all over again. And that's when Muzz and Will came on. Yeah. Uh, you're presently uh, touring with the Stones. I remember when Prince first opened for the Stones, it was rough. They booed him off the stage and threw stuff at him. Uh, is it a tough gig? I mean, they're such legends. It's pretty cool. We're having um, a good time. Yeah, well, we're, having, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're having a good time doing it. Um, one of the things we have to deal with, like opening up for Anthrax and Billy Bragg and people like that on tour, is being living color. You know, we have to get on stage and be living color. If people are going to throw stuff, we're going to have to deal with that. But we're not going to change our act or change our vibe just to suit an audience. You know, we were on the tour because we're who we are. Yeah. And that's what we have to present every time we go out. That's cool. Um, I mentioned uh, to my audience in the monologue that uh, Geraldo had done a show on lyrics. And uh, they talked about not only racism, but explicit stuff in videos. Is it a problem for rockers who happen to be brothers also being on a bill with Guns N' Roses? Because I think here in L.A., they're doing this with you all, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah, not, they're on the not, show. They're on the show, not, definitely. They're on the show. No, it's not, it's not a problem because, I mean, ultimately, it's about making music. I mean, everybody has a different way of expressing themselves. Most problems arise out of lack of communication. You know, people can get misquoted, people can be misunderstood, or people can just not know any better. And eventually, people will just find out. But, I mean, there's no problem with us. We're having a good time. You know, they're doing their thing. We're doing ours. You know. Kill him with love. Shake his hand and educate my man. I think you got to let him know, you know. Well, I mean, yeah. you got to understand. You have to understand each other, you know. Like, the thing that's basic is that, you know, black people, gay people, women are not objects, you know, to be labeled and to be talked about any which way. You know, we're people. We're feelings. And they got to understand that. And then we can go on and just make music. But they got to understand mm -hmm. that first, you know. Hmm. Wow. Um, let me ask you all about a lyric that you all have in your uh, album, Vivid. I'm not exactly sure I know what a glamour boy is. Oh. Who wrote that? <laughs> Who wrote that? That suit's kind of fly. <laughs> check out, check out homeboy yeah, shoes. Check out wait, 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 wait. So I'm a glamour yeah, boy. What do you say, Yo. What do you say? Oh, that's that deep. <laughs> Got the earring, you got the question, fresh scarf. That just turned around and bit you, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, wow. I am a glamour boy. Yeah. You if you want to be. Feels, man. You feel. No, no, you know what? We, we met Little Richard. We were leaving the concert yeah. last night. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, you ain't putting me in a category with Little Richard, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. But, but Little Richard rolled up on the van, and he um, said, yo, you know, I love the band. I love what y'all are doing and whatnot, and I'm that glamour boy that you're talking about. I, it's all different kinds of people, really. Yeah. All different mm -hmm. types. Now, who wrote the song? He did. He did. Okay, did you have an experience that made you write, write that song? I mean, when you were here on the show the first time, did you see me? No. I, no, what, what made you write that song? All right, all right, man. All right. No. No, what happened was, um, it was an experience I had in New York, really. Basically, you know, I was hanging out in the clubs. I was playing in a lot of the clubs, you know. And basically, it was about talking about people that 
seem to have no life other than being in the nightclub, you know, don't have no kind of work, they don't really do anything, but, you know, they hang out with their girlfriend or whatever and look good and just be chilling all the time, I mean, chilling all the time, all the time, 24-7, like, well, mm -hmm. like, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like oh, Arsenio, right? Okay. <laughs> no names, please. Wait, we, we getting short on time? Okay, we'll, we'll move on. I had a lot of questions I wanted to ask you all, but I'm glad I just got those out. You're going to do another song later? Yep. Mm -hmm. sure. I'd love to. What are you going to do? We're going to do Glamour Boy. We're going to do the theme song, brother. No! Boy. I'll show you a whole theme song. Glamour Boy! We'll be back with Casey and Living Color. <laughs>